Hello and welcome back to the Project Hercules Diaries. If you can see in front of the bike itself, there is a lot more space now because I managed to fix the wiring on the big red guzzy over there and it sailed through the MOT this morning, no problem. It rained specially for me just so I could ride to the MOT station and ride back and it's still raining now, but it, it passed no problem. The, uh, the wiring, if you remember, it was up on a block and tackle up in the sky to get the back wheel out and the exhaust off so I could get underneath to uh, fix the wiring. Motor Guzzi on this particular model, uh, it's a 1400 Eldorado. They seem to make the wiring out of a mixture of telephone grade wiring and cheese. And uh, and the wire, the wire had, had dropped out and been rubbed by the tire and it was a right rat's nest under there. So that's a permanent fix, you know, plenty of cable ties in there. Uh, it's not going to happen again because the wire is the right side of the frame rails uh, and I've used some, some thicker grade wiring. So that is a job job and I like it when everything's got an MOT. Uh, even, even if you know something will pass if it's run out, it just means you can't jump on it and pop out if there's a break in the weather. Um, and I, I prefer to have everything ready to go. So it's taking away the shed time, but not all the shed time. I have managed to get couple of things done if you come over here with me uh, what I've been working on this morning is the oil filler so the oil filler uh, I had to take the oil tank quick recap on that it's a Tesla car air suspension tank I've got two of them so I've cut one of them down and just to make it a bit shorter the right sort of size and what I've done this morning is to pop this onto the chuck in the MIFED. Quite difficult to get that to run true uh, with the internal jaws expanding on it. But I turned down the bore so it wasn't quite... Um, it was an interference fit. So it wasn't quite big enough for this piece to fit in. This, this is just a bought uh, filler cap. Um, so th this wouldn't quite fit in there. I put this in the freezer, I put this in the oven. I knew we got a new kitchen for a reason. And then when they came out, um, this fitted in here, no problem at all. It was, it was a, a real free sliding fit. And as this warmed up and this cooled down and, and, it, and they grabbed each other, uh, we now have the filler cap in place. now. Although that is, um, it's quite tight in there, I wouldn't trust that. I wouldn't use that on the road um, because I'm sure that if you put your hand on it when the, when the actual cap was on and you give it a, a good tug, it would probably pull out. The wall of the aluminium is quite thin, so there isn't that much holding it in place. So I've got a, a good friend, Neil, who's a, a professional welder, and, and he's going to weld that onto there for me. And the nice thing about having this... Um, cut off is that you could weld the inside rather than the outside and that's going to be the finished look of the whole thing and I think that looks quite attractive when you've got the the cap on as well uh, the oil tank together will look um, will look quite smart so that that'll be the top of the oil tank on the um, top of the uh, on the front of the bike so the oil tank will be in here uh, the other thing I've done today is to finish the unions. So I've made these unions in a previous video for the Goodrich hose. The uh, Neil says that rather than have to clamp them in place to weld them, it would be better if they are self-supported. So I've done the same process in there. I made an interference fit for the spigot on the bottom of the union, which is inside there. I don't know if you can see that. Um, probably not but anyway that that went in the oven that went in the freezer and when i push that in it's now in you know it holds itself in while neil runs a bead of weld around the outside won't be able to weld this from the inside because it's too deep inside of there so we, we're getting there the last job will be to fit another one of these unions into this part um, of the tank when I've drilled the hole in the right place and I'm just hoping that when this goes back in the oven the middle bit doesn't fall out. It shouldn't do because they will all cons uh, expand at the same rate. I've got my fingers crossed and if it does fall out well I'll just freeze it and put it back in again. So that's what I've been up to for the past um, few days fixing the guzzy and getting that oil tank sorted. Uh, Bob's been busy as well so I'll do another upload on that later on today. As usual thank you for watching and more updates will follow.